喧嘩はもう終わりだおいおいおいそんなのてめえの決めることじゃねえ<笑><笑>ブラウンとタマンのメンバーデモンストレートインプレッシブファイティングスキルズ。Meanwhile,Takamichi attempts to watch over Keisuke,but unexpectedly gets caught up in a fight with a Valhalla member.Amidst the chaos,Kazutora
Takamichi realizes that no matter what the outcome of this fight, Teta will come out on top. If Taman wins, Teta will be hailed as a hero, and if they lose, they will be absorbed into Valhalla and Teta will still reign supreme. In the heat of moment, Keisuke Banji charges towards Teta with a pipe, declaring that he's taking him down. Teta's henchman, Hamada, retaliates by punching Keisuke on the ground. With fury in his eyes, Teta commands his men to kill Keisuke. But just as they're about to strike, Chifuyu appears, shielding Keisuke from harm. Chifuyu pleads with Keisuke not to fight Teta, insisting that it would mean betraying Manjiro. Keisuke brushes him off, stating that he only kept him around because of his fighting abilities. The two engage in a fierce battle, but Chifuyu refuses to attack Keisuke, insisting that he's there to protect him. As Keisuke tries to make his escape, Takamichi charges towards him, grabbing hold of him and shouting at Chifuyu to help protect Keisuke. Chifuyu weeps, knowing that he cannot bear to lose Keisuke. Suddenly, Kazutora appears and stabs Keisuke in the back, leaving everyone stunned. Takamichi shoves Kazutora aside and rushes to Keisuke's side, checking to see if he's alright. Keisuke reassures him that it's just a scratch. Meanwhile, Chifuyu leaps at Kazutora, demanding to know why he would do such a thing. Kazutora mutters that it's Keisuke's fault, leaving everyone perplexed. Determined to avenge Keisuke's attack, Takamichi decides that he must defeat Teta and rise to the top of Taman. Keisuke, knowing that Takamichi and Shufuyu share the same goal, punches them and warns them to stay away. He then bravely faces off against 50 members of the 3rd Division by himself, leaving Teta and Hamada stunned. As Keisuke prepares to take down Teta, he suddenly begins spitting up blood and collapses onto his knees, leaving everyone worried about his condition. What happened? Will Keisuke survive? Before we find out, take a moment to answer the question of the day. Who is the strongest member of Taman? Comment down below for a chance to be shouted out, and now, back to the recap. Keisuke stumbles and falls to the ground, writhing in pain from his injury. Chifuyu's mind races as he wonders what could have caused this, but Teta Kisaki insists that he is innocent. Despite their denials, Takamichi and Shufuyu both know that something is seriously wrong with Keisuke. They quickly realize that Kazutora's attack was much more severe than Keisuke had let on. In a panic, Takashi barks orders to another member to call for an ambulance. While Teta speculates that Kazutora is truly insane and brought Keisuke to Valhalla so he could finish him off himself. As Manjiro stands up, Takamichi begins to piece together Teta's plan. He is trying to provoke Manjiro into attacking Kazutora. As Manjiro takes the bait, he reveals that he had considered killing Kazutora as soon as he was released from juvenile detention. However, Keisuke had convinced him otherwise, claiming that Kazutora's actions were an attempt to make sense of his own life by making Manjiro his enemy. With that, Manjiro announces that the fight is over, but Shuji protests that it's not his decision to make. In a moment of pure, unbridled strength, Manjiro delivers a powerful kick to Shuji, knocking him out cold. The sheer force of the blow sends shockwaves through the remaining Valhalla members who scatter in fear. Manjiro then swiftly approaches Kazutora, his fists clenched in anger. Without hesitation, he throws a punch at Kazutora, causing him to stumble back. The two engage in a brutal fight, with Manjiro taking the upper hand. As the beating continues, Takamichi is struck with the realization that, despite his efforts to change the future, he has not made a difference. Meanwhile, Kazutora's thoughts drift back to a conversation he had with Shuji, who revealed that Keisuke was an enemy. Feeling betrayed and alone, Kazutora decides to take matters into his own hands and sneak up behind Keisuke, stabbing him in the back. The guilt of his past actions wash over him, and he accepts his impending death. As Keisuke takes his last breath, he imparts crucial information to Takamichi about Teta being the enemy. Despite his imminent demise, Keisuke thinks of his friends and asks for a yakisoba to share with Chifuyu. As he passes away, Chifuyu cradles him in his arms, mourning the loss of his dear friend. Hearing Chifuyu's cry, Manjiro swiftly proceeds to beat Kazutora, stating he will kill him without any hesitation. Chifuyu immediately steps in, stating that he knew Keisuke never betrayed them and was fighting alone, but he couldn't save or protect him. 
As Takamichi cries helplessly that he wasn't able to do anything, he recalls Keisuke's words that he leaves Manjiro and Taman to him. In the heat of the moment, Takamichi courageously steps in between Manjiro and Kazutora. However, Manjiro tells him to move or face the same fate as Kazutora. Unmoved, Manjiro punches Takamichi, who then says that Keisuke didn't want this. Manjiro kicks him, telling him to not speak for Keisuke. Despite the beatings, Takamichi yells out the truth about Keisuke's death, that he risked his life for Manjiro and Kazutora. He killed himself not out of weakness, but because he didn't want Kazutora to feel responsible for his fate and because he wanted Manjiro to forgive Kazutora. As Takamichi takes off his jacket, a charm falls to the ground. Manjiro picks up the charm, asking where he got it. Takamichi explains he picked it up at the last meeting. In a moment of clarity, Manjiro recognizes the charm and realizes that Keisuke had kept it all this time, recalling how they created Taman. What a dramatic turn of events. With the death of their dear friend Keisuke, how will the Taman gang recover? What will be revealed in the coming flashback? Find out on our next recap of Tokyo Revengers Season 1.